Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sharon and this is the second chapter in our healthcare management course. Today, we will be discussing patient management using ERP next. By the end of this chapter, you will know creating patient records, book patient appointments and invoicing. Making it simple for patients to book an appointment will go long way in building a relationship with them. Providing a simple web-based tool will help patients book, reschedule or cancel their appointments easily. Once a patient is registered in the system, all future visits will be hassle-free as the information is available for the staff. This also helps in building the patient history which is valuable for both patients and practitioners. Sending upcoming appointment alerts and lab test results via SMS and email will help patients assess important information easily. Also, automating tedious tasks like invoicing helps already overstretched staff immensely. Collecting all the relevant information like medical and surgical history, allergies, risk factors and other relevant information will help doctors in making the right clinical decisions. This may even be required legally in certain countries. Let's see patient management in action in ERP next. Now that we have seen how we can set up the masters in ERP next, let's suppose we have our patient, Blake Smith, who has an illness and has visited Unico Healthcare Center. When Blake visits the facility, we have to make sure that he has a good experience and the service offered is streamlined well. From booking an appointment to meeting the requested physician, all this process can be mapped in ERP next. Let's see how we can make this visit fruitful for Blake. Let's first configure few outpatient settings in ERP next. We shall navigate to the healthcare settings and view the outpatient settings section. Here, we can see that by default, patient document uses naming series for naming, but we can also opt to change this to patient name if required. Let's continue with naming series as we can have a multiple patients having exactly the same name. This option will enable the system to create and link a customer whenever a new patient is created. This customer is used while booking accounting transactions. You can also select an existing customer while creating a patient. If for some reason you do not intend to use the ERP Next Accounts module yet, you can turn this behavior off by disabling the flag Link Customer to Patient. Here, we can select the default medical code standard. If we enable this, all new patients you create will be disabled by default and will only be enabled after invoicing the registration fee. To create an invoice and record the payment receipt, we can use the Invoice Patient Registration button in the Patient Document. We can set the registration fee to be collected here if you have checked Collect Fee for Patient Registration. Suppose we wish to automatically create a sales invoice, we can enable this option. This feature is particularly helpful if our facility collects payment while booking an appointment. The patient appointment form will allow us to select the payment method and amount received. Also, the invoices will be cancelled automatically on appointment cancellation. In many healthcare facilities, they do not charge for follow-up consultations within a time period after the first visit. Check this if we want to enable free follow-ups. After this is checked, configure the number of free follow-ups. as allowed as well as the time period for free consultations here. 
we can set reminder images here a patient corresponds to any individual who is a recipient of the healthcare services we provide suppose a new patient has visited the healthcare organization we will collect their information by navigating to the patient doc type here we can see a list of already created patients and can add a new one by clicking on add new patient first enter the personal details of the patient like name gender blood group and date of birth the status field will be automatically set to active we can add a unique identification number and also set the preferred mode in which the patient would like to receive their report it could either be by email or hard copy enter the patient's mobile number this is important if you have enabled sms alert for patients enter the email address of the patient click on the invite as user checkbox if you want the patient to have access to the patient portal further you can also capture additional patient details like marital status and relationship with another patient we also have the provision to capture medical history like allergies medical history medications and surgical history moreover if the patient has or had any addictions we can capture those details here apart from that if there are any occupational hazards the patient is exposed to those details can also be mentioned here if any additional risk factors are there those can be written here as well lastly any additional information that needs to be added can be entered here once done we can save this document now we will be able to link any operations or activities done for this patient from the connections tab here first we need to check the patient history settings where we can configure the doc types and fields we want in the patient medical record and patient history to update the patient history settings let's navigate from the awesome bar there are few standard document types that are pre configured in patient history settings like patient encounter clinical procedure lab test therapy session vital signs and inpatient medication order you can add or edit all fields you want to record in the patient medical record and patient history click on the add or edit fields button against the doc type you want to edit the configuration for a dialog box will be shown with all the currently configured fields checked you can then select what all fields should be part of the medical record and click on save once all the required doc types are selected we will click on save now that we have configured our patient history settings let's see how we can manage and maintain accurate and complete medical records of the patients for viewing the patient history we can navigate to patient history under the records and history section now we will have to select the patient whose medical history we would like to see 
as soon as you select all the information from the patient record is fetched and displayed here here based on the vital signs captured for the patients we have charts for visualizing how the blood pressure respiratory or pulse rate temperature and bmi have varied with time you can click on individual buttons to render the required chart moving on a timeline of documents fetched from the patient medical records is shown in this section we can select the documents that we want to view like patient encounter vital signs etc we can also select a date range a summary of each document selected is shown you can use the arrow below each document to get a detailed view patient history button is available in all the forms which healthcare practitioners use so that they can easily switch to the patient history page to view the patient's history this brings us to the end of the second chapter in our healthcare management course i hope this helped you understand patient management in erp next you can read more about erp next healthcare on docs.erpnext.com in the next chapter we will discuss consultation management thank you